Fucking hell. I lose my shit when I watch Essendon play football. Really? I mean, you should have expected to lose, so. <sighs> Fucking hell. We were missing like eight of our best 22, so. Yeah, but I mean, you had an extra player with the umpires, so. Bullshit. Realistically, you were given that. Bullshit. I didn't watch all the match anyway, so. All I know is, is the umpiring is crap this year. Yeah, but in favour of Essendon, so it was well, yeah, justified. So you should be right. Well, anyway, whatever. Even I, your own players were laughing at the end there after the game because the end of the right. day. You know, I mean, that that seriously, ten seconds to go, he drops the ball clean and it's holding um, the ball and it doesn't get called. Firstly, so, that was in your back fifty, and uh, yeah. your player deliberately knocked it out of bounds, which was clearly should have been a free. Which even if they missed, would have been a point, which would have won the game. And then. And then, about 20 seconds before that, Dylan Shield jumps on the Gold Coast players' back. Like, they just missed yeah, all Yeah, exactly. So I, there I, you I'm, go, even as you're saying. Like, I'm, that not was saying a clear... they, I'm not saying they missed. I'm just saying the umpiring is awful, period. In favour of Essendon. I don't care who it's in favour of. It's just shocking. Yeah, well, I mean, you should care because you should be thankful to have gotten a draw that you didn't really deserve. Oh, fuck. Who cares about what the umpires did? Freaking hope. Well, you do, obviously, because you're the one complaining about them. Oh, well, you're complaining about it too, so. Yeah, I know, but I'm, I'm also not saying who cares. I'm clearly saying that Essendon were given anyway, that draw. Oh, who cares? Does it, the, the umpires. Again, we yes. care. That's who. Yeah, I know. You give a fuck. I've given up, so. Well, you clearly haven't. My team sucks. I don't think people that have given up have half heart palpitations worrying uh, about it. Fuck. You realize a draw is actually just as good as a win for Essendon. Mark. Yes, I am aware of that. So, like, you should be happy. I'm not complaining considering it makes our percentage pretty much irrelevant now. Well, so. if you got the two extra points, you're going to be on the same spot on the ladder. So. Yeah, yeah, except when they get given another draw later on and then the percentage actually does matter again. Nah. That percentage at the moment, it's not relevant, thankfully. So. Yeah, but when you're given another draw, because, again, they'll umpire again in your favour. Oh, who cares? Anyway. Just every week, they, they, they seem to want to like just make sure Essen is in the game when they shouldn't be. Oh, this is two weeks in a row. Oh, fuck. The yeah, umpiring, honestly, is actually permanently just terrible, to be honest. I agree with Andrew. It's a joke. Completely. Yeah, it's absolutely disgusting. So. Anyway. Like, I don't where, even understand how they could fuck it up so bad. Where do we start the show tonight? Are we we or, started I mean, with how bad the umpiring is. Well, because I, we're I, in the middle of talking about that. So why would you want to change the subject? <laughs> well, I think, we, I think we've made it abundantly clear how bad they are. No, I don't think we have. All right. I mean, Why I do you thought... think it's gone so wrong, though? Like, how could they possibly fuck it up? That I, I, I really don't know. Like, how can how can what are clear decisions just be completely missed or interpreted not as what the rule says? That's, well, what's that's fucked up is that it's like consistently all over the place. It's not even like rules every season, so it doesn't help. I, I just don't understand how. How like how how it changes round on round. Yeah, it does actually. Like that, game by game as well, even. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Like it it shouldn't change within the season at all. It should be this is how something's done, this is how it's interpreted, and you stick with it. That's it. For the whole season. That would be far too logical for the AFL, to be honest. Oh. Yeah, but then they can't hide the fact they're trying to rig to keep Essendon in it. Oh, get over it. <laughs> oh, anyway, how's yes. everyone? How's everyone's punting weekend been? I lost Dream Team by four points, so I'm even more tilted than you. That is filthy, to be honest. And it's just been confirmed. Fuck's sake! That is fairly filthy. I made I made Tuke Miller my captain. Ooh. Then he had his worst score of the season. 
trust me. There's literally one more kick. And I went, one more fucking kick. Disgusting. And I was ahead until Rankin marked that ball and kicked it. Oh, that other person had Rankin. Yeah. Yep, I was ahead until Rankin marked that ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what you should do? You should um, follow the lead of people that are messaging Mitch Robinson and sending <laughs> death threats over. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be doing that. <laughs> yeah, send death threats to Callum Ward. Yeah. Accosting you, your dream team yeah. winner of the round. Some people are a bit ridiculous. Well, I mean, Dream Team is live, so if they miss a yeah. kick... No, I'm pretty pissed off that I lost, but I'm not going to send, like, death threats. <laughs> well, I'm a bit offended that they don't think that our money is worth um, playing for. Yeah. I, I don't think that they realise that, like, the only reason why people are watching some of these shitty games when they're over at fucking quarter time <laughs> is because they're betting on a fucking multi of some dickhead to get 20-plus <laughs> possessions. That's exactly right. You should like they that. actually earn money from this, like it, in in a lot of ways. One because the TV ratings would die completely if there wasn't people betting on ridiculous multis that kept them around in a hundred point loss game. Um, and two, obviously the gambling revenues. Yeah, Brisbane is sponsored by Neds. Like, yeah, they should be welcoming the death threats. In fact. Generous encouraging game. people to bet more degenerate and bet on things that are going to go down to the wire so that shitty games actually mean something. Well, uh, you should never bet on Mitch Robertson to get 20 plus disposals. It's never a good idea. Well, that's coming from you. <laughs> if Marcus uh, is telling you it's a like, shit bet, that says a lot. Marcus, why don't you tell us all about the um, horse today that looks so amazing oh in the my um, parade God. that you gave us to? Wow. Oh. I'm, I'm having a horrendous time punting at the moment. Yeah, but I mean, it looks so good that as soon as oh. it got out there, it had to get its shoe adjusted because it clearly oh. had issues. But you said it was such a good bet because it looks so good. <laughs> it's like literally that reason of all reasons. Yeah, I know. The problem was. <laughs> and like, I mean, how many bloody horse, horses have that issue? I mean, realistically, oh, you could watch like 50 races in a row and not see that come oh, up. And he picks the happen. one. I mean, it can, but it's very rare. Well, it's not rare. It happens often enough, so... <laughs> Anyway, it's to tell the story to everybody out there, I was on, I backed, a, I said for everyone to get a horse because I was watching it. I'd literally just turned the TV, the races on and I was like, whoa, this thing looks pretty good. Let's get on it. Um, Sounds like you're well prepared. <laughs> and then, and then even the, even the guy in the mounting yard agreed with me. He's like, yeah, he looks amazing. He looks turned over. I was like... He agreed with you or you picked this up from him? No, no, no. Right? He agreed. <laughs> he, agreed. He, agreed. <laughs> he said the same thing. So, okay. And so you're He's, reading horses' um, body language now? No, no. It's, it's, it's just the way they were presented. That's all. Um, and then obviously it, it didn't settle in the run. Got trapped three wide. And then never did anything and finished basically last. So, well, you're leaving out the part where, as soon as you <sighs> gave it out as a tip for looking so good, it did have to go and get its shoe adjusted. And they held the race up for that reason. Oh, getting your shoe adjusted, I'm not worried about. So, well, it does kind of say that it wasn't comfortable. Oh, I.e., the only reason why you said it was a good bet was actually. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally the opposite. Yeah, anyway, yeah, fuck. And then, and also, you're forgetting the fact the commentator I'm, did say that it was the biggest um, field of the day, and that he couldn't work out why it was such a short price, despite I the fact that this guy had put it in his top tip as well. But he it, couldn't work out looked, why it was such a short price. It looked, it just looked so good in the yard. That's why I went for it. And then the next race, I went for the favorite again. 
bloody D Oliver is costing me. And that did absolutely nothing as well. So you're going to send him a death threat? No. Responsible. Uh, I don't want to actually get in trouble with Racing Victoria considering I'm an actually an, an, a registered owner of a horse. So That would be hilarious if you got banned. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, how, does, how did everyone's bets go over the, over the last five or six days? No good. Yes, how did everyone's bets go? Um, no good, no no good for me either. So I think uh, my multi was dead at the first leg. So, so yeah. As as much as I was rolling around on the floor laughing at Andrew's Andrew's multi last week, it was I think it was dead within two hours. To be honest, how many? What, yeah, what about the side bet though? It's got up. How many? How it's many got legs got up? Got a bet on that. Yeah, James. All right, so you, the bet was eight point five, right? Eight and a half legs was the bet. Let us find out. Yeah, yeah. Um, I do think it's important to note that some people's multis didn't lose. Yes. I mean, should... from the last episode, mine did, but from the previous one, both of them won. Yes, we should say well done on you getting that multi up. Those multis, there's two. Anyway, you did quite well. Well done. You're now in profit at like ten dollars or something. Yes. Uh like twenty something. Oh, so right. <laughs> well, ten it's what ten percent profit is slightly better than a hundred and winner. I'm sorry. Negative making it are right. you negative a hundred and sixty percent or something? Okay. We can't all be high stakes, okay? All right. How many mold how many legs of your multi you got up? Okay, so the first leg won. Second leg didn't. So you have one, two, just count three, them all up. four, five, six, seven, eight, eight legs. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Uh, I want. I demand a recount. Okay, we can recount. So one, two. Just making sure we have three. a bit of the marker score. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. <laughs> uh, Andrew, you can write that one up on the whiteboard for me. How do you feel that you missed by half a leg? Well, I, I feel like Marcus actually did an excellent job of predicting a good line there, given how accurate he was. It was a fair line. So. Yeah, just go half of it. It's yeah. <laughs> yep. Right, yeah, write that five bucks up on the whiteboard. And uh, yes. Trolley let us down, to be honest. Sorry? Six trolley let us down. <laughs> they did, sure yeah. Did. Uh, sure did. So did Sara Irani. Yeah, well, Sara Irani was a big underdog. So. Ice Banda got up for you? Ice Banda got up. That was the thing. Ice Banda got up. The two darts blokes got up. So it was 2 and 0 at the start with the darts blokes. But then. We well, did uh, terrible on tennis. Yeah, the other tennis match lost, which was like the third leg to finish, I think. Yeah, tennis and soccer, you did pretty shit. Basketball equally. Oh, okay. There is one slight issue that really puts this on the thing. One of the bets was voided. I don't uh, think that changes anything. Though. Well, I think it does because that means that that should count as a half. Yeah. Well, no, no, that because push. Wait, hold on. It's so a, we. This is a push. If I'm the a... game isn't played, how can you? Yeah, well, what, what did we agree? You had to have the line for was eight and a half legs of the multi had to get up. Yeah, and if one leg is a push, then that's half each. It doesn't win. It doesn't win. Yeah, but it's it, a push. It no, it's not a push. Yeah, but you had to get eight Hang legs. On, of it the wasn't multi. a draw. It didn't happen. It just didn't happen. Yeah, so that doesn't mean it lost. It, but it didn't win either. 
Yeah, that's so that's why it's a fucking push. Wins. Yeah, so but the yeah, but we set the line at eight and a half. You had to get eight and a half wins. If the leg is a push, it's a push. I love how we're having I love how we're having a Bryant style argument over half five dollars. Like absolutely standard gambling rules. <laughs> yeah, it's clearly it's a push. There you go. I don't think it should be a push, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm happy. Well, it if, is. If you, if you lose a, push, a leg, it's a freaking drill. So, like, what if, like, all of the legs got cancelled then? Do you just win the bet? Yes. Why? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Even the no betting one. agency doesn't scare me like that. Yes, they. some of them do, actually. <laughs> if the game doesn't take place, they don't mean you lose. Some of them do that. No, they don't. I've never heard of any one of them paying as a loss because the game was cancelled. Uh, I can I can tell you people where they've where they've basically gone where they've taken people's money and cancelled stuff just because I'm trying to. Uh, there was a scenario I remember hearing. Anyway, I can't remember it right now. Anyway, it doesn't again, matter. a draw is different. It's not a draw. It just didn't happen. Anyway, we'll move on. So what are we going to do, Andrew? We're going to call it a square or do I win? Because you didn't get there, but I don't mind. I don't care. because It's it's a draw. As the, in, the middle person, it has Quite to be a draw. Clearly a push. Yeah, uh, it's a draw. Okay, cool. Right, let's move on. I think it's pretty scummy that you even think that you would have won that. Like... Well, I don't. I, I I didn't think whether the fact it was seventeen legs or sixteen legs of a multi made a difference. To be honest, it does because it's a very it's half. It's anyway, literally the not. difference between winning or losing. Anyway, let's move on. I mean, it's how can you say it doesn't make a difference when it literally is the difference? Who, who cares? I don't really care anymore. Because if that game had happened, it would have either won or lost, meaning that it would have either been more the game or less. Or was a leg just to push? I mean, it's no different. But... It was cancelled. What was cancelled? A basketball game? Well, it, no, it's um, baseball. Ah, oh, right. Okay. I looked it up. It says it was um, washed out due to rain. So it's delayed or whatever, which means that the game effectively is pushed to whenever or some shit. But... Yeah. All right. Did anyone have any good punting stories for the week besides nope. besides losing? Not even close. Or James winning on his multi. Any yeah. any other punt? Any As other if you're just going to gloss stories? over the fact that I won the multis. Well, we know you won your multis. So. Well, no, we don't know that how I've won my multis. Well, we, we haven't are, explained it. And... Losing dream team, and now I'm too slow to pick up conquer. We don't. We we don't. We we know you won. We don't need to rehash what the bet was again at one. That's all that matters. So. Nobody cares. Just um, exactly. People care because of the bankrolls. Because it's important to mention uh, what our no, bankrolls are. Yeah. No. Uh, so. Who cares? So my bankroll. My bankroll is two hundred and twenty-two dollars and thirty-eight cents. Marcus. Boring. I mean, just because you lose. Let's get on to the next lot of bets. Wait, no, no, no. We, got, we need to summarize the bankrolls before we get into the bets. Uh, uh, please. I'm getting bored. Marcus, you're minus $104.85. No shit, we know. No, we, we just need to make sure that everyone knows properly. Um, Andrew, you're only minus uh, $309.35. Okay. I'm not happy with that. So another solid um, week of gambling for everyone. Right. It's fair to say I have had a filthy run lately. Yeah, Not it's fair to say my... that my shoulders are sore from carrying you guys so much. Oh, that's all right. right. Not only did my multi lose by God knows how many points in the footy by Essendon not winning last bloody Thursday or Friday or whatever it was. Oh yeah, what did that ha- what happened with that? Didn't didn't someone oh, win because of that? Can you remind me? Yes, we know you won because you're on GWS. So two days later I had a a fair dinkum and another bloody racing punt leg go down again. This time I was trying to collect a bucket load. Oh, couldn't catch a break again on the races on Saturday. I mean, you shouldn't really be surprised at this point. This is how tilting this one was. I had a horse going in 
to the last at da going into the last at Darwin. That's right. I was getting so desperate. I was betting at Darwin on bloody Saturday evening. And I had it if it collect if I had it I had it going for fourteen hundred to collect four to collect fourteen hundred. It was leading with a hundred and fifty to go by two lengths and got run down on the line. Oh freaking filthy. Yeah, but that's like fake money too, so no, no, no. This was, this was the this was this was the last event of the tournament. So it was to actually win and overtake everyone, and I was the only one who'd actually bet to go for it. Oh, so filthy! I think we should review everyone's multis from last week because there are there are some interesting results. What, what's the point? You won. We both lost. We don't need to go. No, 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 no. This is this, this is last the last episode's one. We actually, oh. all lost. So I mean, I mean, you had six legs. How many do you think got up? Of which multi? We talking about the multi oh, that had the hail mary, the hail mary. No, the other one. The like, like you had the, the free one. It wasn't a multi. I had a free swing. I had one bet. What? You had a multi. Yeah, the hail mary one. That was the only one I had. Oh my god, the fucking the bonus bet multi. Oh, mine wasn't a bonus bet multi. It was, you moron. You had Richmond won the 39. <laughs> Tom oh, is that Lynch. What you put as the bonus bet. Oh, that one. Okay, yeah. I what are I'd you put... talking about? No, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I was talking about the golf bet that lost. That was a genuine chance of winning it. Yeah, that was from the week before, but anyway. That was a genuine chance of actually winning at $41. Yeah, but it didn't. So. Yeah, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so a, mate, a, mate, a mate of mine actually back, managed to back the winner at 75. Well done yeah, well, to him. Why didn't so, you um, listen to him instead of... Yeah, exactly. Uh, shut up, you pricks. <laughs> well, he, 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 losing he, he, money. Worked, he works for one of those scummy bookmakers. So. Well, maybe you should listen to him. You should send him a message and tell him his company is scum. <laughs> I've, believe me, I've already had that discussion with him on the golf course. So. <laughs> so. Okay, but how many of the six legs do you think you got up? None. Well, you got two. I didn't, I didn't care after Richmond lost on whatever it was. Yeah, okay. You got well, two. Many... Sorry. No, I'm saying well done. You got two. It's good. I don't care who cares. It is actually pretty matter. impressive compared to, um, well, Andrew's results. You had three legs. How many do you think you got up? Six legs. That's three times. Three. You had three legs. So you um, got zero of them up, which is a pretty solid result. Which bet was that? You had the Canberra Raiders plus oh, six. You had North, North Queensland minus two and a half. <laughs> and you had Parramatta Eels minus six and a half. So they literally all lost. <clears throat> yeah, they all lost. I mean, yeah, the North Queensland game was the worst half of any sport I think I've ever seen a team play. Like, it was... It, it was just absolutely embarrassing. They could not defend anything. I think Marcus would have done a better job out there defending. I mean, he couldn't have done any worse. Um, yeah, which then led to me getting three out of six for my multi. Sorry, three out of five. Well, it says five legs, even though there's clearly six, which is a borderline absurd. I want to take a screenshot of this and send it to you because it literally says five legs when there's six. It's still lost, so. Yeah, but... I mean, these kinds of errors count. Not really when it loses. It affects my day to know that they got this wrong. Well, have a sook. I am. Good. Can we move on to this week's bets? Yeah, I agree. Let's move on to this week's bets. Okay, another couple of losing bets coming up here, right here. Uh, <laughs> James, let's start with yours. What's your... What's your... Bet for the week. 
So we'll start with a bonus bet. What are, what's your? I, I feel like we should just go through the games because we kind of cover everything. Or well, do you want me to just go through it? Fine. No, no. Let's go through. Let's go through each, each leg of everyone's multi because that right. will probably discuss everyone's game. So. Well, the first bet I have is Melbourne. Um, sorry, Brisbane versus North Melbourne for Brisbane to win. Which oh, I have just seems very I think easy. I've got that in one of my legs as well, and that's uh, yeah, it's. Fairly self-explanatory, that one. So I don't think any of us see North Melbourne getting anywhere near Brisbane, to be honest. Yeah, I would like to take, like, an alternative line in that and boost it up, but because you can't at this point, because yeah. the markets aren't up, you can't. So you can't yeah. even take people to kick goals and shit, which, again, this would be a good game to exploit. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Um, then I have West Coast. Again, self-explanatory against Carlton, I think. Uh, Hawthorne, actually. They beat Carlton last week. Oh, yeah, Hawthorne. Well, I think, well, I mean, Hawthorne are playing so badly at the moment that <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Yeah, so, that's how bad Hawthorne are, actually, to be honest. They are seriously bad, Hawthorne. They are. Yeah. They, as I said, I think I said to Andrew watching the game the other night, that Fremantle Hawthorne game, it's like neither of those teams have any chance of making the finals. Yeah. Because they're just goal. so, so bad. No, it's just the standard of the game was just so, so bad. Yeah, still a big goal. Um, <laughs> Western Bulldogs versus Adelaide. Yeah, I've taken Western Bulldogs. I reckon Adelaide are making finals either. <laughs> <laughs> Do they actually win a game this year? That's the question. Do they win a game? No, nah, they're making the, the finals. And if they do, if they do, they're not going to win the flag. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I see them making the prelims and just bailing out there. No. I'm calling it here first. No finals this season for Adelaide. Probably you're right there. Big calls. Next leg, James. Um, is Parramatta Eels versus St. George Illawarra. Now, I'm yeah. going to go out on a limb and say Parramatta are going to make the finals. Well, I do think it's mathematically impossible for them to miss it at this point, but you know. Well, they in the big calls. Court breaking a salary cap or something will get kicked out. Yeah, I'm just going to predict that won't happen. So that's why I'm bringing the big calls in here. Why you're so confident, but okay. Yeah. Next week. Yeah. Podcast is about making big statements. So. Yeah. You get the inside word from people who know. Yep. There we uh, go. Um, I, I, I actually feel like we're award-winning athletes. I mean... Did either of you win any awards growing up? Because I feel like that qualifies us to say that we are award-winning athletes. Yeah, absolutely. Plenty of awards. No, Most improved in under-13s, so therefore... <laughs> Coming to a tennis day once. There we go. It's an award. Yeah. Enjoy. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a well, real winner of my stuff. Pretty excited. <laughs> Next it's league big games. time, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> South Sydney Rabbitohs to beat North Queensland. Another big call. Um, Penrith Panthers. So, I have a two-leg same-game multi of Penrith to win and Penrith minus 6.5. Just because I added one cent to add them to win, as well as taking the minus 6.5. So, that was big. Yeah. Extra money. Um, then the same thing again for Canberra Raiders to beat um, Brisbane Broncos and minus 6.5. Another big call. I don't think the Brisbane Broncos are going to make the finals. There we go. They're only like under investigation for Free- 10 players at the moment for COVID. Huh? So that's a three-leg multi that everyone out there can play. It's those three big calls that we've made. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I don't know where you can actually bet on. Well, anyway. if a bookmaker take it, find a private bookmaker who's not very sharp and is willing to take it on because you've got three sure things there. Well, there you go. Um, <laughs> I've also taken GWS and Jeremy Cameron to kick a goal. So that's my multi. Seems, seems like a fair chance of actually doing okay. Yeah, so. well, someone had to place a bet that actually had 
some chance of winning. Right. <laughs> Funny that you're saying that you think it's got some chance of winning. That both of you guys have placed multis that are so bad, they're not even offering you a cent to cash it out. <laughs> Yeah, because they know it's going to win, so they don't even want to lure us. 30 cents to cash it out. So that's how much better my multi is than yours. Well, we'll see at the end. Well, I mean, they're all going to lose, but like, yeah. Well, I mean, statistically, I'm running at 66% on my multi, so. West back. Right, James, what's my multi you got in front of you there? Well, that's... Some great work by you there. Um, and that's right, only well, one of your multi. Another multi. That's, right? that's only one. So that's your yeah. normal fifteen dollar one. We're, so we're what's going my to hail Marys at the end. Yeah. So what's my fifteen dollar one? Read it out. We'll yeah. Get through it. Yours is GWS twenty five plus. Yeah, I think GWS will win by plenty here. To be honest. Now, one of the keys to Marcus's degeneracy is to not even highlight what the fuck he's actually betting on. So, well, it was it was uh, it's pretty obvious. Anyway, I mean, take out. if you can't work that out, you're in trouble. Yeah, I mean, it could easily be then to get well, twenty five plus points. Netball, you reckon it was? No, I didn't say that part of it. It's the twenty five plus. Well, you, you, anyway, if it had been like plus twenty five. Points. 25 plus, yeah, the, the oh, plus 25. Hang on, if you put collection. plus 25, then you could be talking about the line of it's 25 good. plus. Yeah. It's not As good. A, 25 plus. I put 25 plus because that's what it is in, because there's the four goal try bet. There's the 24. Yeah, well, you might want to try a place in that and it, explain it. 25 plus quite clearly yeah. WOS to win by 25 points or more. Well, this anyway, is some, he on. also Next puts bet. things like just Pakistan and doesn't explain what? Anyway. And he says random names without explaining what the fuck sport it is. Go through the rest of my multi. Free man or head to head. Yep. I think Which could be in the um, waffle, I guess. But whatever. Well, I think that's a. I think they're a good chance. So. Next time I'm going out of my way to find an alternative place to. <laughs> <laughs> Probably more likely to win. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. Next. Um, he then has West Coast head to head. Yes. Again, could that... be West Coast of anything. Um, Brisbane head to head. So I'm assuming that's the Broncos. <laughs> Big call AFL there to, to back the um, Broncos. AFL, obviously. So. Well, why AFL would it be obviously? Uh, anyway, keep moving on. Then Where you have um, Barcelona. Just this the city the doesn't for, explain what it's in. Well, it's UEFA Champions League this weekend. If you actually knew anything about sport, um, they're playing Bayern Munich. And Andrew, I'll bring you into this conversation. You got you got Barcelona in one of your multis as well. Can, yeah. can why are they so long? I am not sure. I, I really don't know. Um, because what's that? Is this the last 16 or the last eight of the Champions League? Last eight. Yeah. I couldn't remember if it was the last 16 or the last eight. So, yeah, I can't, I can't work out why we're... Yeah, and they're, they're just just so long. Tires now as well. So it's not like... It's not like they're going to be, you know, more cautious or whatever. I'm showing my support to good old Barcelona. Yeah, it's strange. It's like, I mean, Bayern's defence isn't very good. So there's no reason why they should be so short. I, I, yeah. I legitimately don't understand. I don't know if there's something I'm missing. But yeah. Well, I mean, if Marcus is betting on them. Anyway, next leg. Probably enough of an influence. I mean, that is the end of your multi. Okay. Andrew, what's your multi? Well, my multi... I also have Barcelona... Win, draw, win. I have taken Atletico to beat RB Leipzig. Yeah, that um, should be an interesting match. Yeah, Atletico better. Um, Leipzig's best player. Um, their striker won't be playing, so they're not going to be up. Not going to be good enough. Um, and then I've taken a draw in Atalanta against PSG. Um, 
tell you, the French season finished ridiculously early. So PSG have only been playing practice matches, like friendly. So, so um, they're not going to be fit, basically. Well, they're not going to be match fit. And Atalanta are kind of an underrated team as far as I'm concerned. So, like, $4 about a draw, I think that's a pretty good price. It's not like... So, like, if it's late at the end, it's not like PSG are going to be reckless to score a winner because, yeah. you know, extra time. So, it just seems quite long for me, $4. Yeah, seems good. I mean, it's reasonable enough that PSG just go win 3-0, but, like, one in four yeah. times. <laughs> They don't need to win the game. It's a bit excessive as far as I'm concerned. So they're your three. I think that were your three legs, correct? Yeah, and that one's paying thirty-three dollars. So it's yeah, I reckon that's pretty good. I like that one. Right. By the time this is, podcast has been released, my multi might already be dead. That is true. I think you might want to remove might. Might. Okay. All right. Let's see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> and shit so, it, so for everyone out there, when are those games on? So they can well, follow. Yesterday. So it's the morning of the 13th. What day of the week is it? Today? Wednesday? So that's yeah, Thursday off. morning, I think. Thursday morning. Yeah. I think I'll... Uh, I'm not sure if I'll get out of bed at 6am. Unless someone decides... Someone in my house decides to wake me up at that time. Then I just might. So. Yeah, time for a pegging. The games have been starting at five, so it's even earlier than that. Yeah, unlikely I get up that early, to be honest. So, all right, hail Mary time. Let's get to the hail Marys. All right, we'll start with yours, James. Well, we start with the rules first. That it has to be over a dollar. Uh, sorry, over one thousand. Well, so for everybody out there, we have decided that this is brilliant, and we should we we actually strongly encourage that you do something similar. Take one dollar. Go to your local bookie, betting agency, whatever, and yeah. place a hail Break Mary the lockdown, multi. Get yourself arrested. Um, get a five thousand dollar fine. Win a thousand dollars, and then be negative four thousand, despite the fact that you somehow fluked to get some fucking hail mary. Anyway, and gamble responsibly, of course. Yes. Gamble responsibly, of course. But and take, your $1, take your one dollar. Take your one dollar, and. Pick a multi, pick some sporting events, pick some outside stuff. It's a bit funky. Just copy what we're doing. And uh, get something that's... Uh, We've got three get something sure, that's, sure things here, and that's going to be at least 3K. And, and yeah, and get something that pays. It's got to pay over 1,000 to 1. We do strongly encourage you copy our bets because uh, they're going to be winning bets. We are very confident of that. That's why we're I mean, I wouldn't definitively say they would because one, they probably won't be, and two, it does seem misleading to. All right, James, do you want to get started on yours? Let's start with yours because yours is easier because yours is All less right. degenerate. Go with mine. So you've probably taken fine. Barcelona again, just to be original. Yep. You've yep. taken Tom Hawkins to, to score two plus goals. I think you'll have no problem kicking or two, two or more goals. You've yeah, taken Brisbane. Port Adelaide. Yeah. Um, that's probably the smartest one you've done. Um, you've taken Brisbane head-to-head. Yep. Again, I'm assuming the Broncos. Lions, of course. Um, you've taken West Coast head-to-head. Yes, West Coast you've, Eagles. You've taken Penrith head-to-head. So, Penrith I guess that's Penrith. AFL. Um, <laughs> you've taken Canberra. Canberra Raiders in the NRL. Well, again, I mean, a lot of these um, cities happen to have multiple teams in multiple different sports. So. Anyway, keep going. Um, you've taken Pakistan, just Pakistan. So that's Pakistan to beat England in the test match coming up. Yeah, that's an interesting leg. Um, I'd be worried about Pakistan. If they're unable to close from the position they were in. Yeah. Be- the, pro- the price was general. The price was fairly... It was four. It was like four dollars thirty or something. Yeah. So. so there's a couple of things. There's quite a lot of rain about for one. I didn't. I didn't do that much research in it to be into it to be honest. So I didn't bother about the weather. So. And you see how short. Yeah, the weather's irrelevant. Maybe okay. something will tick. Fuck. There might be a lot of rain around. <laughs> Look, if there's rain around, right? 
then that means there's cloud, which has a tendency for the ball to swing a lot more. So I'm hoping that'll lead to a lot of wickets get taken in a very short space yeah, no. of time. Hey, yeah. Pakistan. Yeah, I mean, that is true. I mean, so, I'd, I'd be a bit... Ain't happening. I'd be a bit wary about taking Pakistan at this point. Anyway. Oh, Next leg, James. Yeah, usually um, the fact that the odds are long is not just a good reason to... Yeah, I don't care what the odds say. You just take... the reason you took them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You've taken Group A, Thomas Detry. So in the European Tour event in uh, over in the UK this week, there were four guys and I took Thomas, Thomas Detry in Group A of those four guys. Yeah, of what sport? It's golf. Yeah. It's that a golf may tournament. may help for people. Yes. Including myself to know what the fuck you're talking about. Um, well, you got group, to learn all these sports. Group D. Thorb John Olison. How do you pronounce that again? Thorb John. Just, one, just once more, please. Thorb John. Just again, please, for the viewers out there. Thorb John. Just, I just want to get that pronunciation perfect. I mean, you really have been run a pretty shitty... Thorb job. Pronunciation. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. English Expert. Mr. English Expert, can you can you tell James? You can't even say that correctly. So That's okay. true. It's a good point. Can, yeah. you, can you can you correct him, please? What is his name? Uh, how do you say? Thorb Actually, also, I would also point out that um, the name is in English. Thorbjorn Thorbjorn Olsson. Is that how you say? Torbjorn Olsson, technically. Oh, Torbjorn Olsson. Yeah, I bet, I bet you someone from fucking Scandinavia would criticise your pronunciation as well. And I would expect them to, to be honest. So I've taken Torbjorn Olsson in that same golf tournament in the UK. I think it's the Celtic Classic. They're playing on the European Tour this week. Again, different group. I think the Ryder Cup veteran will uh, be too good for the rest of his, despite, I think he played his first tournament back last week. So I think he'll play okay this week. So, so yes. Then, then you've taken Ryan Ruffles to win the Albertson boys. Andrew, Andrew, can you explain who Mr. Ryan Ruffles is? For He's obviously a golf player. Better than I. Well, I can explain a lot better than I. Ryan Ruffles is a young professional golfer who Australian who is playing on the corn ferry tour in America and has had some decent results of late. He finished tied second two weeks ago and almost made his almost won his first professional tournament. I think he finished about tied fifteenth last week, which is another decent result. He's knocking on the door for a win and I thought at a forty one dollars I thought it was worth throwing him in the mix. For a uh, for a bit of a special multi, so I think that's all my legs from memory. Okay then. Well, that's another dead multi. Um, probably over before it even started. So, uh, what does that pay? Out? What does that pay out, James, for the one dollar investment? I can't even remember. I think it's about twenty three thousand to one. So I think it was twenty um twenty one k. Well, whatever, somewhere, it was, yeah. It was a nice payout when it gets up. So I'm looking yeah. forward to uh, a. Ain't um, I'm look. I'm looking forward to everything. I'm looking forward to the stars aligning this weekend. It all coming in at once. Yeah. No. No. Right, James. What's your What's your hail mary multi? I don't know. I feel like we should go to Andrews because he's a shorter. Mine's going to be. All right, we'll go to Andrews then. All right, well, I've got a well thought through, nice and conservative five leg multi. I have started off with some Brazilian Serie A soccer. Yep. I have Bragantino to beat Botafogo 1 0. That's actually pretty reasonable. Brazilian League. Don't act like you good. have any fucking clue about what this game would be. Slow tempo in the Brazilian league. Not many goals. I know of Botafogo. I've actually been to Brazil. Five okay, goals. so you've been to Brazil, so that means you know thoroughly um, about the league and the games and what's been happening. 
I didn't say I knew. I said, okay, tell, I, tell us the strike know, of him. I said I know of Botafogo. Yeah, but before that, you were saying how it was a, um, a reasonable bet, as if you knew anything about it. No, it's because Syria, Brazilian Serie A is actually a decent soccer league. And what Not does like, that have to affect whether this is game is going to finish 1-0? Well, it's better than betting on like Danish League Two or something where we don't where we can't even pronounce the name of the teams. No, I mean again I think pronouncing the name of the teams is pretty optimal for our Mary multi, to be honest. True. Yeah, yeah I know. I, I my my issue isn't with the Hail Mary multi, it's with Marcus acting like he actually knows what he's talking about with the game as if <laughs> as if it was a good bet. Like <laughs> Yeah. It seems it seems reasonable for a Hail Mary multi, so well, these are well thought out legs, okay? So I'm a, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, but I'm I'm just saying that how Marcus would have no fucking idea to to agree that it was a good bet. He wouldn't know if it was fucking terrible. Or... I said it seems reasonable. I didn't say whether it was a good bet or not. Anyway. Well, that would be what seems reasonable is. Anyway, keep going, Andrew. Alrighty, next leg, Brazilian Serie A, Atletico MG. 1-0 against Corinthians. Oh, that's perfect. Definitely <laughs> going to happen. <laughs> I've seen their name on FIFA before, so, you know. That's fine. <laughs> Next leg, more Brazilian Serie A soccer. The Hia against Coritiba. 0-0. Nil, nil. Paying $7.50. That one's a little bit more... Wild. <laughs> um, Marcus, your thoughts? No, I think it's quite quite a good bet, to be honest. Yeah, pretty confident that there won't be goals. Well, if as you said before, Brazilian Serie A are just very slow, not many goals normally. Yeah. Yeah, I mean Brazilians can't really score, so never been known to produce. I don't think any Brazilians have ever really been good at soccer in history, have they? No. Uh, so. They've only won how many World Cups? They're sports like table tennis, right? Yeah. yeah. Sounds about right. Like Next league. Sport. I say like table tennis is a way of life in Brazil, right? Yeah. So, no goals. Um, and all the Brazilians out there are very offended. Um. Yeah, well, obviously, they would know we're not being fucking serious. No, they don't. And they're really mad. Marcus didn't know I was joking. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, no, they've won a lot of World Cups. <laughs> uh, never produced a striker ever. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh, the final two legs are Swedish ice hockey. <laughs> you gotta love the ice hockey. Um... They do say Sweden is one of the top seven leagues in the world. Yeah, it is. It is. There's like NHL, obviously, then KHL, and then SHL. Like something like that. And then like, I guess, Czech Republic. I mean, you know that Canada kind of has their own league. What is the Canadian league, though? Because the Canadian league, they're in the NHL. No, nah, there's um there's AHL which has Canadian teams. Then there's um yeah there's several in Canada. But like, I mean, Division Three hockey in Canada could fill out a whole stadium. No, nah, yeah, well, just because they love it doesn't mean they're better. They are. Oh well, I mean, a shitload of them play it, so they're very good. But yeah, uh, yeah well, at the end of the day, you're gonna probably earn more. I would assume you would earn more in. Division two Canadian hockey than you would probably in Swedish hockey. Hmm, interesting. Well, there you go. Fun facts about Swedish <laughs> ice hockey. So, if you are a um, over here, <laughs> drop of the knowledge. Um, I've um, yeah, I've walked past an arena. <laughs> <laughs> I have as much knowledge. <laughs> I mean, I have actually been to Division Two so- uh, ice hockey, so I do actually have more knowledge than Marcus. But I mean, I have also walked past arena <laughs> once. So, what do you think about the Malmo Redhawks? I've never been to Sweden, but as a thorough fan, I would absolutely have no idea. Walk past a Canadian ice hockey 
thing once. So that tells me that no movie can win. <laughs> <laughs> the logic is solid. I'm guess I'm I'm, I'm guessing that was the one in Toronto. <laughs> oh no, I've actually been even more hardcore than Toronto. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, so I'll give you a fun ice hockey fact of Division Two American hockey. There's a team called the, um, uh, I can't even, actually, I can't remember the name of it. There's a team that um, actually bring, this is real, the fans bring squid, actual squid, and throw it on the ice when their team score. There you go. Wow. I think that team's going to win. Pity we can't bet on that. Well, we probably could if they were playing, but I'm assuming they're not. But the Melmo Red Hawks, they're good things. And then also HV71. They're going to beat Fremunda. I like it. Yeah, Marcus likes it. He's um, walked past a couple of stadiums in his life. So, you know. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's he's cool. never been to Sweden, but he's... Yeah. It's like turning on the TV and just like, yep. This horse is going to win. Got it. It looks good, even though it literally needs to get its shoe adjusted. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, seriously. Wow. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. All right. So my my Hail Mary multi is paying about $1,200. So So pretty, um, yeah, not big. (laughs) Big, yeah, because I'm being somewhat responsible with my how Mary multi. You well, consulted Marcus his walk past stadium, so you're well thought out five legs. Only bet on games if I've walked past the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have to be like the stadium in their country or anything, but like I've walked past the soccer stadium once and stuff. So Yeah, that's that's a new strategy. And like I've watched a Brazilian Serie A soccer game on T V before too, so Mm. There you go. So that pretty much makes me an expert. Pretty much, yeah. So there we go. Well, I have never watched snooker except for like the odd little bit here or there. But I've decided to bet on it anyway in my Hail Mary multi. So I have Kyron Wilson v. Ronnie O'Sullivan to be the two finalists in whatever the the tournament is. I mean, I know so much, I don't even know what the name of the tournament is. They interviewed Ronnie O'Sullivan this week, asking why he's still at the top of snooker, and he basically just said because all the young players are shit and they wouldn't even be good amateurs. I did well, say that. That I, was quite okay. funny. <laughs> like, I was going to say, know? how the fuck would I have seen that? <laughs> Nonchalantly, too. It's just like... like you, 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 you've got to love it when someone who's who's so good at like their chosen profession, especially in sport, just just basically calls it as it is and says everyone else is just shit. They're yeah, not good enough. Like very like just no filter whatsoever. Yeah, I, I think, bet he's walked past a few stadiums before in his life too. Probably. Didn't he say you'd have to like break an arm and a leg for them to even be competitive or something? I think from <laughs> Yeah. Well, I've been in a bar that has a pool table, so you know. <laughs> I know, I know these things. So he's going to be in the final. Anyway, yeah. I've um, actually never heard of the other bloke though. Well, he's the other guy's the favourite to get was even shorter odds to get into the final. Apparently, maybe he's playing some of those should be amateurs. Yeah, well, I could have picked like the two individuals, but I decided to go that bet because it was only one leg. And I need to maximize my legs because I hit a point where I had too many to actually continue. In any event, we move on to match two. Irina Camellia Begu versus Leone Kung in um, tennis. So, yeah, I've hit a tennis ball once. So pretty much a lock that um, Irina is going to win. 
I mean, she, she'll probably win, but I mean, I don't know how much you can say with COVID going on. So you're, you're implying that she might have COVID and therefore it would be a good lay? I'm not implying she's got COVID. I imagine she's probably not playing the tournament if she's got COVID. I'm saying you don't know how much they've... Like because she's not a particularly good player, so you don't know how much effort they've been putting in while COVID's been going on. Um, I've been doing the form, so I do. Because ah. I think you didn't hear me when I said I've hit a tennis ball once. Ah, yeah, okay, so... I can't argue with that. So, so there we go. Absolutely fantastic. I, I, yeah, you floored me. So I took a four-leg same-game multi in this with um, Sydney versus GWS. So GWS to win, Tom Papley to kick a goal, Sam Reed to kick a goal, and Jeremy Cameron to kick two or more goals. Now, obviously, excellence runs in the Reed family, so he's going to definitely kick a goal. Ambitious to suggest Sam Reed's going to kick a goal. Well, yeah. To be honest, but okay. Um, then I have Quincy Crew to beat Thunder Predator in esports. Oh, yeah. Um, I then have the Penrith Panthers to win. Played Halo once. Yeah, I did, actually, so... I don't even know what um, game they play, but <laughs> I would assume Dota or something. Not sure what Dota is, but that's what I keep saying. It's a game. And I believe it's Dota 2, not Dota. True, I have faith. So. Yeah, well, I know enough to know that it's Dota 2, so therefore, again, I've done the form. I don't know if they're actually playing that game, but that is the game. Um, I've then taken Ghent to beat Court, Chir- Court Trick in soccer, okay. Belgium soccer. Yeah, now, Belgian side, but it's like a their league on or what the hell is that? Well, clearly it's on this weekend. I've taken Charleroi to beat KV Unstend. It's another Belgian side. Yeah, um, I. Yeah, they definitely are because um, Kevin Musket is coaching over there and he had his win this week. Kevin Musket's coaching in Belgium? Yeah. Some side that beat um, someone who was in the UEFA. Anyway, that was an article this week or some shit. Um, I've then taken Herbert Burns to beat Daniel Panetta in boxing. Just because his name is Burns and I feel like He's going to burn the, the opponent. Okay. I, I've then taken a five-leg same-game multi in Geelong versus Port Adelaide. With Geelong to win, Tom Hawkins is to kick two or more goals, Gary Rowan any anytime goal scorer, Charlie Dixon anytime goal scorer, and Mitch Georgiades anytime goal scorer. All have been kicking a bunch of goals in their recent games, so yeah. Parramatta Eels to win. Guangzhou FC to beat Henan. KFC Kamamo to beat Poprad because it's KFC, so obviously they're going to be good at soccer. Um, then we have FlyQuest to beat Evil Geniuses. I'm assuming that's esports, but I don't even know. No, it's netball. Clearly. Is it? I mean, I actually don't know. I mean, it's obviously going to be eSports. What other sport is a team going to be called Evil Geniuses? Yeah, it's League of Legends. So there we go. Um, And then I've taken Brisbane and South Sydney. So there we go. Well, yeah, there's a fair few legs in that. Only 23. So after all those 23 legs, what is it paying? 1,270. Yeah, it seems not very much for 23 fucking legs. <laughs> there you go. Well, I did the form, so, you know. It's good value. I like paying the same, and I've got five legs. Well, Just throw them out. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do indeed, sir? One thing is for certain, I'll get more winning legs than you. 
And isn't that all that really matters? How many legs you get to see win? I mean, in some people's eyes. Well, in Marcus's eyes, because that's the best he's ever going to have. <laughs> Other than walking past the stadium, of course. I reckon my both of my bets are going to win. So there you go. Well, I mean, the idea is to place bets that you actually think are going to win. So I didn't think that was actually the the plan for the Hell Mirror, to be honest. <laughs> no, it's to try to get it to those odds that might actually win, obviously. I don't think, yeah, it's to bet on random stuff and just hope you get lucky. No, that's why you take 23 legs of um, odds on favourites to... 23 well-thought-out legs there. It is. The evil geniuses are not quite good enough, so they're going to lose to whoever it was. Yeah, FlyQuest. Yeah, FlyQuest. I I think there's going to be a little bit of latency on the evil geniuses' computers which I've had the inside word from, so. Just hack into the. Don't give out my secrets. I plan to do that. That's all right. Nobody will ever know. I used a computer once, so I know all the. Um, <laughs> I used a computer once too. Then why aren't you betting on esports? Yeah, that's a good question. Don't... I'll have to next week. Yeah. Well, I was going to bet on the feminine ladies. But I decided not to because they were too short, like a dollar seventeen or something. What is that? Um, I believe it was like some sort of like Israeli basketball or something. Solid. Let me see if I can find it. See, it would have boosted your multi up. Tunisian, Tunisian basketball. <laughs> Which um, we're all down on, obviously. Feminine ladies are pay- paying a dollar sixteen to beat the Al Hilal Sports ladies. Well, Marcus went to school where they had a basketball court, so he knows the inside information on that. Okay, so, Marcus, who's going to win, the feminine ladies or the Al Hilal Sports ladies? Uh, probably the fem- probably the feminine ladies. Feminine ladies. Now, is that based on your knowledge of basketball or the, the fact that he told you what the odds were? The interesting I, it's thing is based like, on I have no idea and I just picked one. The feminine ladies, they're playing basketball. Is their femininity going to be a problem? Probably not. Probably not? No. What about the Al Hilal sports ladies? No idea. No idea. Okay. No, I don't think they're having a good year. So what about the feminine ladies minus nine and a half? I couldn't tell you about the line, so because I just guess the feminine ladies will win the match. The feminine ladies, but like you've walked past past a basketball court before, so does that mean I can dunk a ball like LeBron James? Well, yeah, based um, on your your, your um. Pretty theories. much what your logic is there. Yeah, I reckon the feminine ladies minus nine and a half are a good bet, but I don't have the bankroll, so. Just throwing it out there if you guys want to bet with the bankrolls that you have. James, have you put the multis on yet? Yeah, of course. Okay. I was going to say, because if you hadn't, then put the feminine ladies in mind. <laughs> I would so love if, he, if the rest, the whole multi gets up except for that one leg. <laughs> well... So, like, you guys both have the bankroll now, too. So, you guys can actually do normal bets as well. I want to point out that it's AS feminine ladies. So, the AS is important. You misled us. I don't think it's leading, but okay. It is to me. (laughs) It changes the fact that I was going to bet on them and now I'm not. Really? That's... Really poor, that's all I can say. Well, it's poor. Next time you'll be more honest. No, right, then fine. We won't bet on the feminine ladies because none of us. I would bet it, but I'm not allowed. Well, there you go. All righty. Anything else for the rest of the night? Better have it. Do you reckon Bedford have <laughs> women's Tunisian basketball? Let's find it. Basketball. 
No, they do not. Ah, uh, 10K bet would have been good though. NBA and WNBA, but not finish in women's. It's disappointing. It's like they don't even care. I don't know if they won or not, because nobody's ever going to find out the results. So. I can bet like 16 cents so we can track it. Bet 16 cents, do it. All right, from my um, account, uh, from my balance, yeah. I'm on for 16 cents at $1.16. Potential winnings of 18 cents, which is a two cent um, <laughs> win. So there we go. Yeah, they're also good at the, at the line, though. For minus nine and a half at $1.83. Yeah, no. No? No. Put like two cents on it. All right, if you insist. <laughs> so easily convinced. <laughs> and they've got to look at this and be like, what the fuck is wrong with this person? <laughs> <laughs> On for two cents, winning three cents. So effectively getting a fuck all odds too. It's like getting a dollar fifty now. Brilliant. Uh well, that's my two cents anyway. They put it down the two cents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Especially because the previous bet rounded the account, and now we've unrounded it. So that's <laughs> fucked everything up. <laughs> right. Anything else for the rest of the week? For the next round of footy? Uh, no. I don't think so. No, let's just hope that um, the umpires don't give Essendon another win or draw even that they don't deserve. I'm just realised the last legs of my Hail Mary multi, like, can't even sweat. Is the um, Swedish ice hockey isn't going to be on TV. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. I, um, you can probably find, like, a shitty stream that's, like, the size of a peanut, but... Yeah. No, it'll be dead by then anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. It'll be uh, dead by the time we're awake in the morning, to be honest. Yeah, possibly before you fall asleep. I think that's it. I've got nothing else. No, neither do I. Happy punting for the weekend. And may you pay, place a two cent bet that wins. Exactly. And ladies. Good thing. <laughs>